classic correction in scaphocephaly. At birth, the skull is composed of separate skull bones that are connected with skull sutures. The sutures are the growing sites of the skull. One of these sutures is the sagittal suture, running in between the frontal and posterior fontanelle. Premature closure of the sagittal suture prohibits skull growth to the sides, resulting in an elongated, narrow skull shape. There is a risk for insufficient volume for the brain, and thus a skull expansion is indicated. During the procedure, a skin incision is made on top of the head, running from ear to ear. This way, the skull can be exposed. The zigzag pattern is made for better coverage of the scar with hair. The surgeon makes a few burring holes to detach the bone from the meninges underneath. The bones of the forehead and both bones at the sides of the skull are removed, including a bone strip that incorporated the closed suture. To improve the curvature of the bone on the sides of the skull, wedges are cut out of the upper border of the bone pieces. The edges are then bent towards each other and fixed with resorbable sutures. The more curvy bones are then repositioned. The bossing of the forehead is reduced by removing a rim of bone at the lower border of the forehead and by tilting the bone backwards when it's put back into place. To fix the width of the skull, the bone strip is rotated 90 degrees and attached to the bones. All remaining bone pieces are used to reduce the resulting bone gaps. This allows a more complete closure of the skull, which ensures protection of the brain.